you everyone for coming. I'd also like to thank Kelly and Guy, who have really done a lot of this. They picked out the place, they really did a lot of the work, and we all feel like family already. Last night, it was so much fun, and everything was beautiful, and it was, I loved getting to meet all of y'all a little bit more. began at the Red Shed in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Now who says that the Lord doesn't work in wondrous ways? Exactly a year ago, we three sat down together and you told me that sweet story of how within the first few days, as you put it, our love for one another filled our hearts. In Alabama, the first time I met her, she was like, oh my God, Dylan, what's up? I'm like, hey, I love you. And I see Frankie's like, oh, Dylan, I love you all this. I was like, oh my God, this is the first time I've ever seen that. Like, what? what's up? I was like, all right, cool. All right, Becca, let, all right, let's get it. I like you. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Thank you, Becca, for real. She met her brother a lot happier, and he came a lot nicer than me, so I was very appreciative of that. At Mardi Gras 2013, I had sprained my ankle the night before, and I didn't want to let it ruin the rest of my weekend with Becca, so I met up with them and obviously immediately was super in pain. And Frankie carried me on his back, for four miles, just so that I could continue spending time with him and Becca. And the three of us watched and did me and rolled together. And I knew, Frankie, then, that you would do anything to make Becca happy. And I knew then that you would be her person. And I'm so happy to be here on your wedding day, telling that story and knowing that you guys are gonna have the most perfect life together. asked me a question and without hesitation or forethought I said you were the best gift your dad could have possibly given me and now you have expanded on that by adding Frankie to that I had a really bad day uh, at work and Frankie's like you know what like Let's go to Pearl Oyster tonight and get you some New Orleans like, seafood. It'll be totally casual. I have a gift card, so like whatever, I guess we can go. And so, you know, we're like getting dressed and he puts on literally like the shirt he's worn a million times as like a whip on the back. So I'm like, all right, this night definitely isn't special. This is whatever. But yeah, so we get there and then he has, you know, uh, oysters and he drops an oyster on the floor and I'm like, <laughs> and then, you know, he gets on one knee and he, it was like, there's not a pearlless oyster, but there's a diamond, and I was like, ah! <laughs> I know it's gonna be just the most beautiful, beautiful decor ever, because my mom has worked so hard, and. I'm just excited to be able to like look at Frankie and be like, we did this, like we're there. It's good, and I, I, I think it's gonna be like the best ever. I'm really excited. I'd like to say that I've never seen you more beautiful than you've ever been tonight. Wow, exquisite. Magnificent, <laughs> stellar, wunderbar. So pretty. Now this dress, is, how am I going to dance with you? I have with no this? idea. You know, we'll do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. I'll be careful. But I got to say, every day that I see you, you're my beautiful miracle baby. Okay? Back 
America. I love you. This is going to be great. It's going to be a great party. We're going to have a lot of fun. Looking, really looking forward to our lives together. Um, let's just keep doing us. This is awesome. I love you. Turn around. Wow. I look like nothing. You're beautiful. This dress is gorgeous. I miss you so much today. <laughs> So grateful for this moment, for right now, for the present. Put this ring. Be thou consecrated unto me. Be thou consecrated unto thee. As my husband. As my husband. According to the law of God. According to the law of God. In everlasting love. In everlasting love. Frankie and Becca, you were now the answer to each other's question, now and forever. To you guys, God bless you and good luck. And stay together through thick and thin. Both of you have got to give a little bit. So from the gross side of the family, God bless you, and I look forward to a big party tonight and tomorrow. I love you guys so much, and I'm really happy that you guys found each other. Mr. and Mrs. Frank August Gross V. To Becca and Frankie, you guys make each other happier every day. And I can't wait to party! Woo! To such a future, I love y'all, and uh, I can't wait to live in your house in like a couple months. I'll see you guys there. Dilly dilly. Families, friends, uh, really appreciate you coming in, and uh, God bless you all. God bless you too. And I wish that your life continues with the joy and the happiness and the togetherness of this evening. We love you dearly. And we wish for Becca and Frank to have the same wonderful 30 years as your mother and I. I second that, and I do think that you will be celebrating your 30th with a celebration just like this for your own children. Love you. So too we recognize that love can be broken. And so we charge the two of you to guard and to protect your love from this moment and forever.